Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create animated loading bars using Filmora 10. Uh, so this Skype loading bar or progress bar is useful for a workout video. And one of my subscribers asked me, uh, hey Jackie, how to uh, do this in her video and she want to uh, pay me for for some money for that. But uh, I think uh, this is very simple. So I just uh, uh, I just create uh, some sample, some sample uh, project for you and uh, show you some different ways uh, you can create loading bars. It is very simple, so you can do it yourself uh, without hiring me or without pay, pay me some money. Okay, so let's go to Filmora. I will show you some option here. Uh, all right, so here I am inside Filmora 10. So uh, this is the first one. Uh, this is the first option, and I think. Uh, is a great option because uh, we have uh, full control of the color and the, the borders and, and and so on and uh, we don't need to spend uh, so much time on this uh, let's play it okay so this one is the first one and this is another another easy one and I, I saw many other tutorial on YouTube about this one and I think it's also great so there's a loading bar here and there's a text uh, flickering in progress or something right and this is another another option it look nice right also uh, a color and a red color on a, a blue background and then uh, just move around it's a loading bar right and this one uh, is another option uh, with some indicator here and uh, there's a number here i'm going to share this project uh, at the link in the description below so you can download these things and save it to your video and you can use it for your video all right so let's first start, start with the easiest one uh, let's delete everything on the timeline and now going to delete uh, so this is a, the easiest way you can create a loading bar effect in Filmora 10 uh, first go to title and then select a title and use this one default title uh, let's drag and drop it onto the timeline so let's change the duration to 10 seconds okay go to 10 seconds here let's say 10 and click ok now go back to the timeline and then go to advanced editor right click and go to advanced edit and the first the first thing you need to do is to delete this text so click on this trust uh, icon here to delete the text and now go going to click a shape here and then select this one this is rectangular shape and select it and now you can resize it to the bar that you want to create here on on this screen okay about this side and you can click on this uh, this yellow button and click and move it to the left uh, to to make the shape uh, look like rectangular shape yeah okay so that is the first one and the second one delete this one delete the text uh, so this is uh, the red background anyway you can change it to anything and you just scroll it down to here where you can see the text border and other things but you can change the shape field here you want to change to other color like uh, blue or something you can uh, click uh, at this button and change it to blue if you want uh, for example this is going to be my background and now you uh, you want to click on the shape border here and you can change the size of the border if you want okay so that is the first step and the next step you want to create the same shape uh, going to click here at the shape again and then uh, click this button to create the same uh, shape and resize it to this area okay just just make it a little bit smaller than the than the the shape the previous one and also delete the text and change the color and the size but uh, i'm going to resize it to this area and use this yellow 
and now I want to disable the border uh, the shape border for this okay so we don't have the border yet and we want to change the shape field to the color that we want to use for the the loading bar in this case I can uh, select red all right and click OK so now we have a uh, let's see here uh, it is uh, not it is not uh, fulfill the, the shape inside so we need to adjust a little bit down here I think it's look okay alright so now we are going to click on the red one and go to the animation and here at the animation we need to choose left direction insert okay or you can uh, choose uh, cho right if you want to reverse the loading bar okay so double click on this just double click on it and then play that's nice right the, the next thing you want to adjust the, the animation here so the first thing you need to uh, drag this line all over to the end on the right by doing this you will delete the exit animation for for this okay and this line will control the speed of the animation and you can uh, drag this slider all over to the to the right to, the, to reduce the speed of the animation okay and here's a loading bar that uh, we create with this um, this option okay play it that's nice right uh, in order to save this preset for later use uh, you can click here at the save as custom button here you click on that and then name it loading bar number two okay and then click ok now you can go back to the timeline and click ok so here is the loading bar with this option easy right okay and now if you want to to add uh, text or something like loading text or some flicker uh, flickering text uh, on top it is very easy just go to title and go to title again and then you can select this title and drag and drop it and extend it to the duration of the default title here and then you can change it to something in progress or something like that and you can also resize if you want okay like this and now I'm going to click away and then I will put this text right here uh, now if you want to create a flickering effect for this text uh, you just need to add some keyframe for it so let's press this button to view everything uh, so the first one uh, we want to add a keyframe for this one and move some frame forward and we reduce the opacity to zero and then press ok and then move about three frame forward and then reset the, uh, the opacity okay and then maybe 10 frame or something like that and reduce the opacity and press ok and then just reset the opacity so you just uh, repeat the process uh, uh, to create fl flickering effect for this text uh, I'm going to fast forward this part a few moments later okay so that finished and it is a simple loading bar effect in Filmora 10 that's nice right and uh, if you give this method you have the option to extend the duration so you can just change the duration of the title to any any duration you want uh, this is a 10 second uh, this is a 10 second loading bar and you can uh, easily change it to 20 second 30 second or even uh, 60 second or something just right click here and go to the duration and for example if I want to change it to 20 second uh, we still have the same loading bar so 20 seconds is longer right and click OK and we still have the, the same loading bar here it's just slower 
All right, so this is the first option. You can uh, create a loading by effect in Filmora 10. So now I'm going to show you the second option. Uh, we also very easy. So let's delete everything on the timeline. And now uh, the first thing I want to do is to change the project setting to 60 frames per second. Uh, why I'm doing this? Because um, uh, when we create a 10 second uh, loading bar, uh, but for the next project, uh, if we want to change uh, the duration to 20 second or 30 second, then we can just simply slow down the, the loading bar video. Uh, so it is easier, okay? Uh, so the first thing, go to file and go to project setting uh, and here, uh, we can uh, select the frame rate to 60 frames per second uh, that is first option okay and then click OK to go back to the timeline now we need to select two color okay to select the color go to media and then we'll go to sample color so there's a bunch of color here you can uh, select two color for uh, one for the background and the other for the loading bar okay uh, so again I'm going to select uh, red for the uh, no, I'm going to select white uh, White for the background and I want to change the duration to 10 seconds also uh, go to duration And I'm going to change it to 10 10 seconds and then I click OK And and the next and uh, the next color I'm going to select red uh, for example here and I, I also change it uh, to uh, 10 seconds okay uh, we have here uh, 10 seconds then uh, we are going to click OK now the next thing we just want to uh, to make the red red sample color move from the left to the right okay and that's that is very easy in uh, Fimora 10 the first one uh, we can add a keyframe for this uh, so click here to add a keyframe and then go to the uh, the end of the go to the end of the the sample color and just uh, use this position slider to move it all the way to the left uh, to the right so that's nice right and here's the effect that we have just created nice and now we are going to export this one okay and um, click ok and to export this and I'm going to name this one as the loading screen okay uh, I will keep the frame rate at 60 frames per second uh, let's check the bit rate 30 30,000 okay and then click export okay so the export is finished and then we need to find the target and click here uh, so here is the loading screen number one okay uh, let's drag and drop it into Filmora uh, go back to this uh, this one and then I'm going to import this one into the media library here now I'm going to delete this one on the timeline and drag and drop this one onto the timeline okay and now all we need to do is to recite to this uh, recite this uh, this video uh, to a square bar uh, like the loading bar that you want to create uh, so it is very easy just uh, click on that and then uh, you need to uh, select it on the preview window and then recite it as small as you want okay and to this area or something like this uh, so maybe I want to uh, make it this side and now we can add a border for this uh, for this one uh, All we need it to do is to go to uh, video effect and then uh, select a border here and then drag it drag and drop it directly to the video uh, Like this. So we have this one It looks nice, right, but we can change the border uh, we can change the color of the border too so double click on the video on the timeline and then go to video and then uh, we find the video effect here uh, so for example if I want to have a, a blue border or something I, I want to have this border I just select it and this one also uh, so the same the same color and now we can increase the size 
change the size to bigger size if we want so this is about uh, 10 second 10 second uh, loading bar right that's look awesome and we can also add text above it or something like that uh, it is very easy uh, if you want to uh, to add a video at the background it's also very easy for example i can add some video at the background here and there there you go this one nice right and about about this option as i mentioned earlier you can just slow it down or fast forward to to get the duration you want so this is a 10 second for example i just i want to have a loading bar at five seconds then uh, all i need to do is just right click here and then uh, go to the speed and duration and now i can change the duration to five seconds here at this box zero five okay uh and click okay so now we have a faster loading bar uh, with five seconds okay like this nice okay so the last option to create a uh, loading bar effect in Fimura 10 is similar to the first one uh, let me show you let's delete this one and then go back to title again and remember i save it as custom so i all i need to do is to go to custom and now i have this loading bar okay just drag and drop it directly to the timeline and it is a loading bar but now we can customize this one just right click and go to advanced edit and this is the background we can keep it and for this one uh, we are going to uh, to add some eye eye character here and we just uh, want to double click on it and then we remove the um, remove the shape field so we don't want to have the color here but we want to put text here and then at this input text we just put some eye on it eye so put as many eye as possible okay until it reach the end all right so now we can uh, change this the fonts to something big and bold but uh, for me i can uh, choose c go okay this one no c q and this one let's uh, fight okay so this is a font that i'm going to use and click on that and now we need more eye okay here okay and also remember to make it bold and now we we are going to select uh, one animation for this one go to animation and then uh, we can select typewriter here uh, double click on it and now we have a loading bar here slowly okay so that's nice right and we can even change the character here uh, color inside uh, this bar to create the, the one that you, you like all right so that's all about creating loading bar effect in Fimura 10 uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to download the project file uh, at the description. Okay, goodbye and see you again. Bye.